Today I'm going to show you 10 better Discord CSS codes that will help you significantly, or maybe not significantly. It's all up to you to make that decision. Anyways, to start off, better Discord is against Discord's terms of service. That means basically you can get banned for using this, so use it at your own risk. Anyways, go to the first link in the description and click on download v1.1.1. When you download it, open up the installer and you'll get this. Read the license agreement, click I accept the license agreement, click next, click next, then select the Discord version that is available for you. Chances are you probably just use Discord, so click on that, then click install. In my case, I'm using Discord BTB, so I need to click on that, then click install. Once Discord restarts, you might have a massive window pop up, but the main thing you want to do is go into your user settings, then scroll down, and on the left you should see this better Discord section. Click on custom CSS, and this is where we need to import our custom CSS, which I obviously already did. Uh-oh. Anyways, go to the second link in the description, and you will see this pastebin code here. So in this pastebin code, you will see a comment at the very top of each section of CSS code that you want to use and it basically just tells you what it does so in this case i'm going to go through each one and just show you how to use it and what it actually does so then you can make the decision if you want it later on instead of tinkering with it so to start off we have round discord borders discord borders i obviously messed up the formatting there but all you need to do is just copy this chunk of code copy it then you need to go into discord and you just need to paste it into the custom css editor now for this specific css snippet you need to turn on transparency and that is in settings better discord settings a window preferences enable transparency and then you need to restart discord so click on save then go to better discord settings scroll down make sure to open up window preferences and click enable transparency and click restart now now what this will do is give you rounded borders on your discord which make it look a little bit nicer you know so once it loads in you'll notice you now have the rounded corners for discord Mind you, I did find a bug, and basically you can't snap it to any edge of the screen like normal Windows operations. But if you want to remove the custom CSS, all you need to do is just select all of it, or press Control a and delete it, then save. And then specifically for this one, we need to undo that window transparency. So go to settings, then scroll down, and disable transparency, and restart. And what this will do is make it so Discord is just normal again. Now for the second snippet of code, we have hide nitro icon on banners. So if you go to banners right now, so I go to my server and I click on my admins banner, you will see that it has this little nitro logo. We can actually hide that. So going into your user settings, going into custom CSS, if you just copy the code right there in that little section and paste it, then click save. What you will do is if you go back, click on someone's banner, that nitro icon will be gone. Next up, we have resizable channel slash DM list. If you just copy that chunk of code, once again, paste it in and save it. When you use it, basically, you can just go to the bottom left, or bottom right, sorry, of any channel, and you can resize this to make it larger or smaller, or just completely move it out of the way so you can't use it. It's nice and nifty and something you can tinker around with and gives you more customization for the screen real estate of Discord. Now next up we have hide stickers button. This one's really straightforward. If you paste it in, press save, then you go back into Discord, you will not have the stickers button anymore. So if I turn it off real quick, go all the way down to custom CSS and remove it, then save, you will notice I now have the stickers button right here. Speaking of stickers, we have our next section of uh, code, and it's stickers same size as emojis. So go into your user settings again, paste it in, it's, it's all the same process basically. But if someone sends a sticker, so for example, if I go into any channel, the bot commands channel, and send a sticker, boom, it's the same size as a GIF. Perfect. It doesn't take up like 13 years of space. That didn't make any sense, but you get the point. Next up, we have more of an aesthetic tweak, and it's roll color background and member list. If you just copy all this, paste it into the CSS editor and save, you can see that on your user list, you can see people's colors as their background. It's pretty cool and fancy, especially if you have a server where people can customize their own color. Just something nice to have. Next up, we have get rid of banners on servers. So if you copy the chunk of text, paste it in, it's, it's the same thing. You'll notice that we do not have a banner anymore on my server specifically. You know the Fortnite, official Fortnite, sorry, server will have a banner. If you click on it, they do not have a banner anymore. Next up, we have the dynamic trio. Now what each one of these little snippets of code does is it basically just hides the little weird menu in your DM. So if you go to home, you'll notice friends, stage discovery, and nitro. And look, stage discovery, library, Nitro. What does this mean? Well, if you just copy all of this code, then you go into user settings, then go into custom CSS and you paste it in, then save. If you go back to your DMs, those sections are gone. And that wraps up the installation portion of the video. If it worked, like and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel even further, just turn off your ad blocker when you watch my videos. And if for some odd reason it didn't work out for you, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or join my Discord and put your issue in the help channel and I will help you out as soon as I can. 
Now let's get on to the uninstall portion of the video. Now finally, let's say that some of this custom CSS isn't really working out for you. All you need to do is just delete the section of CSS that you don't want. And you could do that for all of it by pressing Control A and deleting it then you won't have to deal with any custom CSS anymore. But if you are nervous and you don't want Better Discord anymore, all you need to do is just go back into your downloads, open up the Better Discord installer. I know it's weird. Click I accept the license agreement, click Next, then click Uninstall Better Discord, click Next, then click on the Discord version you installed Better Discord to, then click on Install, and guess what? It'll restart Discord, Better Discord will be gone, and you won't have to worry about being banned. Mind you, the chances of being banned for using custom CSS are so small anyways. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Chances are, if you're watching this video right now, I just got my wisdom teeth removed and I am super duper messed up on painkillers. So please, be nice to me if this is really bad because I won't be able to help you for a little bit. I love you. Mwah.